nothing. What you say? Yeah, you Nicole, you better Nicole. Mikey, you better say it, Pope. This mother Jesus, you're just. This mother Jesus. Yep. This mother Jesus, you're right, Pope. I'm saying we're doing it. Go, friend. This mother Jesus, you're going to go sleep with your. Oh, you're going to sleep with your. Oh, you're going to sleep with your. Show y'all how I do my macaroni since it's Thanksgiving. I have let me put the light on. I have the pot boiling with the water right now. And I'm gonna make two big pans. Alright, so right now I have the the elbows in. I use the two big boxes of the elbows. Excuse the noise, it's Thanksgiving. But I have the noodles in the pot boiling. I use the elbows. Sometimes I use the elbows or I use the penne pasta. We're gonna rub the belly for good. Even though I know my macaroni is good, but this is the first time I'm cooking for like a, for Thanksgiving. But I'm very confident. I am very confident. I'm the macaroni queen. And everybody loves it. He's in I'm my way. Big cuz, I'm big cuz, big cuz. <laughs> big cuz, big cuz. <laughs> Alright, so noodles, the macaroni, well, noodles, are about done boiling. I'm not gonna boil them all the way too soft because, you know, this one gotta go in the oven. So now I'm going to transfer them into the... Alright y'all, so right here I'm just going to start doing the voiceover because it began to get a little loud and crazy. So I'm just pouring the macaroni into the pan and getting it ready to add the mixtures. Right here. Alright, so first step, um, add your butter. I like to do everything while the macaroni is still hot. So everything can melt really good so add your butter you can add one stick or two sticks of butter i add one stick i feel like that's enough one stick is a lot of butter so one stick is fine and you see me here moving the flimsy tray all right and now we're gonna go in with the cream cheese this is a very important step it makes your macaroni so creamy if you don't like cream cheese you're not gonna taste it you have to have it if you want it to come out right and I found this recipe online I feel like a lot of um, macaroni recipes I saw online they put cream cheese in there so it works trust me and I use like half of the packet of the cream cheese while I'm making the macaroni but I'm mostly eyeball it. All right, now, you know, of course you gotta add the cheese. I like using sharp or mild cheese, but sometimes when I'm feeling different, I mix, I use like a different mixture type of cheese, like a blend. But right here, I'm just adding, I think this is just mild cheddar. So go ahead and mix your cheese in. And like I said, it's great so when you move quickly, so it can like melt, the cheese can melt while the pasta is still hot. So just mix up your cheese. All right, so now you go in with your milk. I personally love using canned milk for some reason. I don't know, I grew up watching my family always use canned milk. We're making, um, with anything, macaroni or any type of dish you gotta use milk for. They always use canned milk. You can use whole milk, whatever milk you prefer but i like to use canned milk for some reason i feel like it's kind of it I, I could taste the difference don't know what it is but i can taste the difference so as your milk i use since i was doing two pans of macaroni i added i believe i added two cans in each or like one and a half cans in each because the milk makes it not you know so super dry along with the butter so that's an important step. Please add your milk. If you're a vegan, I don't know what to tell you. Find some, I don't know, 
no, but you gotta have your milk in there. All right, now we're gonna go in and add our sour cream. Another important step, all these steps are very important, y'all. So add your sour cream. Again, if you don't want to taste the sour cream, you're not gonna taste it. You, ha you have to have it. If you want it to come out right, if every year or every time you cook for your boo or whatever and your macaron does not come out right, you're missing all these steps. Add your sour cream, y'all. You're not gonna taste it. So add your sour cream. I add, a, I don't know, like a generous amount probably like three scoops in each little pan it makes it i love sour cream i eat i add sour cream when i make my spaghetti not inside the pot but i add it like on my own plate i love sour cream y'all it just makes everything seem so like taste so creamy and cheesy so add your sour cream please and believe me it will come out perfect so just whip it up mix up all these ingredients Mix it real good. Alright, so right here we're gonna just add in some more cheese just to mix it up around. There's no such thing as too much cheese. I love me some cheese, y'all. But let's talk about cheese for a minute. Sometimes when making macaroni, I will probably get like the block, the actual block of cheese and melt it in the pot with some canned milk, make it melt, and then I pour it into the mixture. But you know, it's Thanksgiving, you kinda in a hurry, so shredded cheese will work today. But either way, will be fine i prefer the black cheese because i feel like the cheese is much it tastes much richer but you know that's when i'll just have all day and i can just make that but yeah we're going in right here to add more cheese to the mixture and make sure you stir it up good this is not the end of the cheese yet y'all i bought two big bags of cheese so we're just mixing it all up Alright y'all, so here's a thing that I bet most of y'all don't know that people put in their macaroni and cheese and it's eggs. Yep, that's right, it's eggs. When I found this ingredient, I was like, what, eggs? But when I really thought about it, that's how you make souffles and all that stuff. It really, I don't know, I forgot what they said, the, the purpose of the egg, but I, I could tell the difference. It's like, it makes the whole macaroni just stick together for some reason i i think that's what it does i see it i could taste the difference i can see the difference but you add your eggs y'all add your eggs just trust me add your eggs so since like again since i'm making a whole bunch of macaroni i think i put two eggs in each pan if i'm just at home making like a pot for my family i'll just add one egg but add your eggs y'all you can whip it up and then pour it in and stir it i like to just crack it dump it in and then stir it so add your eggs that is a very important step and i hope y'all not thinking ew eggs no listen y'all it, it works and mind you when you add your eggs i, I like to add my eggs at the end because the macaroni isn't too hot. Because if you add your eggs in too soon while the pasta is still, you know, scorching hot, the eggs will start to cook. So be mindful. Remember to add your eggs at the end before you, you know, about to top it off with cheese and put it in the um, oven. 
now we're topping it off with cheese some more cheese y'all yes no such thing as too much cheese now we're topping it off with some more cheese and it's about to get ready to go into the oven see those steps are not that bad you know if you're a bad cook at home just follow these steps y'all and you can make some bomb macaroni and cheese Alright y'all, now this is the finished product. No, I'm just saying. This is just the ending of me adding the cheese before I wrap it up and put it in the oven. Don't forget to top it off, y'all. Sometimes I like to put parsley right here so when it's after it's melted, it looks very delicious. So yeah, make sure you wrap it good and tight with foil so it won't dry out, y'all. Then you put it in the oven. I like to put it on 350 for about 25 minutes. And this is me just taking a bite of the turkey liver. It looks kind of, it was a little overcooked, <laughs> but still it was a great taste. Comment down below if you like the taste of liver. I love it. All right, now this is the finale. I didn't even, everybody started to dig in before I got a good picture and video of it. So this is the ending of my macaroni. It was the bomb. And I'm gonna show you some other videos of when I did it before. And this is another clip. See, I have parsley in this one. This is when I made it before in the past, and here's the picture. Hope you guys enjoyed my macaroni and cheese tutorial. If you guys use the same exact ingredients, comment down below and say same. If you have an extra step, an extra ingredient, or a different, whole different type of ingredient that you guys use for your macaroni, please comment and let me know so I can even try that out. I love macaroni. So again, thanks for watching. I'll be making more tutorials and food videos of stuff that I cook. But thanks again, y'all. Comment, subscribe, share, like. Not that cheese is delicious. <laughs> you cook this one that cheese, right? Yeah. This one that cheese is delicious. You're right, going upstairs with your girlfriend. This one that cheese is delicious. You're going to go sleep with your.